Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Every airport I'm in or every time I'm walking down a street and somebody stops me, that's the first question. Are you going to do another one of those Bourne movies? Mr. Matt Damon, Jason Bourne. I love making these movies. I don't mind being followed around by Jason Bourne. I, I, I like Jason Bourne. It's been a defining role in my life. So, I mean, I've always been incredibly grateful for giving me the part, you know, 16 years ago. Action! It's good to see Matt back. I'm excited to be working on a Paul Greengrass movie again. He's a great person to work for. I just trust him completely. You know, it's like a family, isn't it, a ball movie? It's a bit like a rock band coming back together for a good old tour. This movie finds him in a really dark place, and he's basically pounding other human beings into oblivion just to try to cope with the thoughts in his head. The world's changing and moving really quickly. The world is at war. We need the perfect weapon. Why would it come back now? There's a reason for the CIA to want to bring him back. He's called the $100 million weapon. I know who I am. A fallen world born has to come in. Operations will be compromised and people will die. You have to stop this because you are Jason Bourne. This time he gets all the answers to that original question of identity. So that's really, really exciting. I remember everything. Remembering everything doesn't mean you know everything. It is a big Jason Bourne movie, bigger than we've ever done.